Hey YouTube, we're at the Lift & Co Cannabis Expo here in Vancouver and we're going to learn about cannabis because I have no clue. I don't know anything about it. This is Vancouver Talks. First time at the Expo? Yep. 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 What brought you here? Cannabis. Checking <laughs> it out, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Justin Trudeau brought me here. Yeah. <laughs> Personal medicator. Just thought I'd come check it out. Thinking about doing my first grow. What do you like about this expo? I mean, it's indoors. It's very clean, well lit, uh, stigma free. It gives us stoners a chance to actually let people see us. Like someone who's never experienced weed before in their life could step through these doors and see what you know the industry is actually very much yeah. capable of. Yeah, it's friendly and it's, it's yeah, friendly, inviting. It can be no different than any other thing we enjoy in this day and age. It's a lot of really informative people. Everybody's really open to talk about their products. A lot of helpful hints and tips. Medical or recreational use? I got my medical license. Yeah, same thing. Medical. Both. Both. What's your favorite way of consuming? Personally, my favorite method of consumption would be smoking, but I also do appreciate vaporization as well as ingestion. My favorite way is through like a shake and spray kind of product. Shake and spray? Yeah, it's like a sublingual spray. They got them, you spray it under your tongue. Oh. Yeah, those are the best ones for sure. sure. That's the only way I do it. And exactly. Pretty much everybody dosed. I know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Easy to not overdo it. Oh, if you get the right one, and they taste really good. So. Yeah, they taste really. Oh, some cool. of them taste really good. Um, I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, they're really easy to use. You can kind of take them with you anyway. Concentrates. Why is that? I just like the effect. Hits me harder. Quicker. Quicker. I find it lasts longer. I smoke a lot more weed. I've, I've smoked more of it. How has legalization of cannabis affected you guys? Did it affect you guys? You know, if you wanted it before, you'd get it before. You want it now, you get it now. It's just a little bit different when getting it. Me, myself, I uh, actually lost my job back in October. I know many other bud tenders in the city lost their jobs. Some dispensaries that weren't far along in their uh, applications with the city decided to close their doors preemptively because they were worried about strikes and raids and so forth. But that being said, I definitely think that the market has some room to grow. I see less vendors here this year compared to last year, oh, if that uh, gives you any indicator. Yeah, other than that, I think it's a uh, speed bump but I think it's something that we'll yeah. get over, right? I think a lot of the things will get like ironed out. Yeah, so like some of the legislation that's been put about I think is really good. It's a good start, but then some of the things not protecting people is needs to be implemented, especially when it comes to like the legislation of the edibles and the concentrates. I think they really need to speed that up, but not go so fast as to mud in it, right? Me personally hasn't really. <laughs> it's kept on going. I'm medical as well, so, so I've been smoking huge. before it was legal. Has the price gone up? It's fluctuated. It definitely depends on where you are. Bigger cities are more expensive than smaller towns. Walking through the expo, I see these, what are these things called? What are these? These are harvesting uh, machines. Our company's called Centurion Pro Solutions, and we manufacture harvesting equipment for the cannabis industry. Okay, so what do these machines exactly do? When you have a flower that's fully mature, you have to cut off the leaves. Traditionally, that was being done with scissors, but with uh, large-scale grow operations that are now showing up, you need a faster way to process. Oh, yeah, so these machines basically take off all of the leaf off of the flower, so it saves the business owner time and it saves the labor costs as well associated with that. Because I can imagine like hundreds of people with scissors. With scissors, yeah. And the fees that are associated with that and the security associated with that because, you know, you have 100 people you touching. Know, t touching and tending to mm. a crop that is of high value. So if you have machines that are able to do that work, you're really ahead of the game. Without jeopardizing quality, that's the biggest thing in the cannabis industry. You want to make sure your uh, THC and your trichomes is not negatively affected by the machines and we do everything possible to try to preserve those uh, important components of the plant. Okay. Can you walk me through some of like how the machine kind of functions per se? Sure. This is the hopper of the machine. Yeah. Uh, all of the flour that you buck off of the plant yeah. uh, would go into this hopper. Mm. Uh, when the machine is turned on, the tumblers rotate clockwise. And everything gets pushed. The, that's correct. Everything gets pushed through. The blades rotate counterclockwise and there's a vacuum connected to the machine which sucks the leaf in but not the flowers oh, wow. and then uh, it cuts all sides of the flower and the finished flower it gets expelled out of the other side of the machine ready to dry and how long does that process uh the, when the flower enters it exits in about 45 seconds and it's complete and you can uh, put in large handfuls at a time i can't even cut like an outline card in 45 seconds right like this machine would harvest as much flowers as maybe having about 50 people 
in a circle is, is the output you'd get out of this machine. It's our largest model. That's insane. Okay, where can they find you? If our website is www.cprosolutions.com. Yep. So you can find us there and we have a web store. You know, we are listed by a lot of distributors in North America, Europe, Australia, essentially all over the world. I walk by your booth and I see tubes. What is this? So what we got here, sir, is fractional distillation equipment. It's obviously geared toward the hemp and cannabis space. Mm -hmm. The process here is you're refining your hash oil. So after extraction, after winterization, after roto evaporation, when you're separating the alcohol from the actual oh. crude oil, this refines it. Using different boiling points, you can fractionate out the different cannabinoids. Obviously in the hemp cannabis space, people are trying to fraction out CBD, whereas if you're a marijuana infused products company, you're looking for that THC cannabinoid. This is really just an adaptation of a science that has been being used for crude oil as we know it, and now it's been applied to cannabis. We resell a lot of equipment. A lot of this stuff too is actually OEM manufactured with our logo on it. We are a manufacturer, we are a reseller of laboratory okay. glassware. We also work with other companies within the space and companies outside of the space to service the whole industry. Okay, so okay. Our, we're pretty much a one-stop shop for uh, you know, equipment that you would need to make marijuana-infused products, You know the distillate pens that are very popular pretty much yes. everywhere right now. And in reality, that's really the target market. Now you think about some of the people where states and countries are starting to legalize. Older people are in a little hesitant to actually smoke what they call yeah, flour. Yeah, yeah. Whereas anyone will eat a chocolate that gets you high, man. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> where can they find you? Like, is there a website? So, yeah, our website is labsociety.com. Uh, we're based out of Boulder, Colorado. We've been a company for about three years now. And our goal here is to service the companies and give them everything they need and everything they need to make the best the big product they can. Because yeah. in the end, man, it's about saving lives. It's about you know treating people. You want to make sure that what people are putting in their bodies it's, to feel better yeah. is actually going to make them feel better. My name is Michael Miranda. I'm a sales director for The Bucket Company. We're based in Miami, Florida, but our manufacturers are in Grand Haven, Michigan. We are the creators of the world's first ever antimicrobial planner. It's FDA, EPA approved. It eliminates 99.95% of E. coli, mold, algae, bacteria from developing on the surface of your planner. So any growers concerned with health regulations, definitely make the switch to The Bucket Company because we assist in maintaining a healthy plant. Other than that, we created a universal planner. You can use any media inside of our planner. So if you like to grow beet to waste with cocoa or soil, you can. If you like to do a hydroponic grow with rockwool cubes, uh, clay pebbles where the system recirculates the water, you can as well. We have three different sizes. We have a 10-gallon planner for anybody concerned with plant count. We have a three-gallon planner, more home grow slash commercial. And then we finished off with our 1.2-gallon planner, which has definitely been seen more in fruit farms, berry farms, vegetables. Okay, cool. So we don't only specifically cater to the cannabis industry. We also do horticultural. Okay, so anybody, but it works really well for cannabis. Yeah, products. definitely. All the benefits that we went into uh, engineering the planner, went into uh, specifically for cannabis. Okay. But it had worked out really well for people who are growing in horticultural purposes. So. Okay, okay. So can you actually like, walk through sort of like exactly what I'm looking at? Yeah, no problem. So yeah. these that you see right here are the three gallon planters that I mentioned earlier. Okay. So we have a top feeding system. So you have micro valves, which you could actually regulate the pressure to actually run as a full spray, or you could run it as a drip if you're concerned with how much water you're exactly using. Okay. That runs from a quarter inch line to your irrigation line right here, which yeah. is three quarter inch. And then you have your drainage all throughout the bottom, which you can actually see on this side. So all of the fittings that you see on the planners are custom. Um, they're all manufactured by us. And everything that you see here is also manufactured by us. The hosing, um, the valves, the planners, the inserts, everything that you see is all made by us. So it's the whole one shop? One stop shop, yes. Cool, awesome. So Thank we you. provide you everything that you need except for a pump and a reservoir, but you could find that at any local hydroponic shop or even yeah. at Home Depot, uh, any sort of home it's, grow it's uh, compatible shop. With yes, it's exactly. Cool. Awesome. Where can they find you? You can find us at thebucketcompany.com. If you have Instagram, you can find us also yeah. The Bucket Company on our Instagram.
How does the average person get started with this? They get one of your planners, go about growing their own cannabis. One of the really nice things is like now that it's legalized and you can grow four plants at home, it opens up outdoor growing to everybody, right? Mm. Traditionally, it's been, you know, people that are growing at their home, they're growing in their basement or they're growing in like a bedroom yeah, or, yeah. and they're, they have to hide it, right? But now you can grow outside legally and it's totally fine. And so that's fantastic because, you know, sunlight's free, yeah. right? And that's number one. You want to find a nice sunny location in your yard, right? So you want to find a place that gets at least eight hours of sunshine, and that'll be a, a great spot to grow your own cannabis. Okay. Step number two, the biggest challenge with growing whatever, whether it's cannabis, whether it's food, is it's always water, right? So you got to stay on like a good watering regimen. And that's where our gardens come in. So we've got a sub-irrigation system that we, we build into all of our raised beds. Yeah. And what that does is it creates a hidden water reservoir underneath the soil okay. and then it allows the water to wick up naturally from the bottom up consistently so that the soil always has a perfect moisture level for your, your cannabis to just thrive. Okay. So you don't have to worry about watering it yourself and doing the whole manual. Yeah, if you're just building a raised bed or throwing it into the ground in the summertime, if it's hot, it's like 25 degrees plus, you're gonna be out there every single day watering your plants, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas with our system, you'll be filling up the reservoir once a week, once every two weeks or so. We got a full harvest. Out of three square feet, we got over 300 grams of buds harvested in one year, wow. and we watered the garden eight times. Just like it really simplifies the whole process and just makes it so much more fun. Where can they find you? Online, www.lifespacegardens.com. Harvest Medicine has a app that they're currently using right now called HMED Connect. Mm -hmm. And basically what HMED Connect is, is for patients that don't necessarily know what to do with the cannabis world. What we do is we have nurse practitioners that we have hired and we also have educators like myself. I'm a patient educator. They will see the nurse practitioner on the app and then what they also will do is then see one of us. What we do is then we set them to get the right product, right? So if they're looking for a CBD product or they're looking for, you know, specifically THC, we can find the right producer for them that's an appropriate fit so then they're not necessarily stuck with a producer that doesn't have any oil right so that just has dry herb or vice oh, versa okay. that's why it's called HMED Connect because we're trying to make the connection between the two a medical clinic and you know doctors and then a licensed producer the app is for Android and Android and uh, iPhone second question I have uh, what's the difference between CBD and uh, THC yeah. the big one that everyone's looking at right now is CBD for a couple of reasons you can actually take it and go to work and you know, oh. be totally fine. What we're finding is um, a lot of more demand with CBD compared to THC. Okay. Main reason being CBD has a lot more therapeutic benefits. For example, anxiety has been a really a big one that we found uh, lately with people. And a lot more patients of ours are coming in for just CBD and no sort of THC. What we do is we actually will set them up for like that producer that has an appropriate yeah. CBD. But main difference is going to be that CBD is not going to be impairing, right? So you can actually take it to work like I was mentioning yeah. and that's the big factor that people are looking at because they can take this you know anytime they want and function normally and function normally people are finding therapeutic benefits with CBD you know taking it up from three weeks to as long as six months yeah. that can actually go up into your cerebral cortex and actually uh, go in and rebuild the body so okay. we're finding that even with like patients that have chronic pain a lot of the time they're coming in for a CBD product of course a little bit of THC as well why would you pick THC versus THC is going to be a great pain reliever kind of right away right so it's not going to be a long-term pain reliever like CBD for patients that are suffering with chronic pain that can't take the pain and want to be able to sleep for example we would suggest a more of a THC product in that in that spec um, yeah. compared to a CBD product that can actually keep you up at night that's what we're there for and that's kind of where we like to guide our patients and explain the different products and what they do oh uh, where can they find the app and you and the website so my name is Brevin you can find me at brevin at hmed.ca you can download the app on the App Store or Android Store, HMED Connect. We also have our website that has great resources. You can uh, find us at hmed.ca. I'll link those below as well. Thank you so Thank much. You. Who knew a simple plan could do so much? Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. M square out. I'm just gonna rest here. I'm not high. I'm just tired.